Hey guys, so today we're gonna have a conversation with Phil of the past. What am I, a time lord? <laughs> yeah, well, it's gonna happen. Specifically Phil at university because that is a time where I wish I'd given myself some advice. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna bloody do it. Time to whack out my Ouija board. No, that's for dead people. Uh, maybe if I just concentrate hard enough, I'll be able to communicate with him. Here we go. This is my intense concentration face. Oh, I think it's working. Hi, Phil of the future. Hi, Phil of the past. Phil of the future, wasn't that a TV show? Yeah, I think it is actually. How's it going? It's pretty good, thanks. I got this jumper for my birthday, which I'm enjoying. Can cosplay as some TV static now. While I'm on fashion, actually, please never wear this or this or this ever again, or I'll kill you. That was a long answer to say, yeah, I'm good. Have you had a good month? Thanks for asking, I'm so polite. This month has actually been pretty sucky for me because I've been to sev Ooh. <laughs> Ever since I filmed my last video, I've just been deliriously ill with the flu. I was shivering, and then I was hot, and then I was sweaty, and then I was hallucinating that my own pillow was talking to me and was gonna absorb my face. So that was a fun hour. If you wanna know something, your pillow wasn't trying to eat you. You were just having a fever. Do you miss the hair? You right now have the worst hair I've ever seen me have. If I hadn't shaved, I would look like one of those people that they'd found on an island about five years later. This wasn't the first regrettable hair decision at university, Phil, though. I mean, come on. Like this one. This was before my first official end of year dance. I got this haircut. I wanted to look like this, but it just... It was just a complete mess. It was like spiky at the front, and then it was so long. It had like a mullety aspect at the back. And that was a big mistake. So no, I don't miss the hair. I didn't think so. <laughs> um, probably should have done that a while ago, shouldn't I? Yeah, no, you should have done it today. Go cut your hair today. Did you get that essay in on time? I've got to do that today. Oh, the essay. No, Phil. <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil. No, you did not get the essay in on time. You get prescratulated. You get distracted and procrastinate so much. We need to have some kind of intervention. I think the best thing to do is to go to the school library, which I realize in the third year has a room with no internet, and force yourself to write the essay. Either that or go to Code Red and get your friend Amy to change your Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube password, which you have to do, but it works, and you get your work done. Yeah, I suppose. You suppose, Phil, you should be like, yes, senpai, I will do that. Actually, you probably won't know what a senpai is back then. You should watch some anime. Fall down that hole a bit sooner. Anything to warn me about that's gonna happen. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of this fill now, so are you ready to listen? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, there's so much I can say, but I'm just gonna tell you the main things that I would warn you about if I was in your shoes right now. Don't have a piggyback race. I think I've mentioned this before, but you have a housemate, let's call him Clint, and you'd both had a few tipples, and Clint thought it'd be a good idea to have a piggyback race down the road against some other people. Now, I was over six feet tall, very gangly, he was under five foot, and for some reason we thought that I should be on his back, and there was a lot of <laughs> forward momentum anyway, but when he started running, we were just leaning further and further forward, and I was like, Clint, slow down, Clint, and he was just going faster and faster and faster, until suddenly he launched me off his back, and I went hand first, into the pavement. And I just heard this crunch when it hit the ground, and I knew something was wrong with my hand. But I went to bed, I was like, meh, it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Until I tried to have a shower, and when I squeezed the shampoo, I remember this so vividly, I just burst into tears because of how much my hand started hurting. So I got to accident and emergency, and the doctor said, you've been in a fight, haven't you? That's a classic punch injury. I'm like, <laughs> I felt kind of proud. Like, do I look like someone that fights? Should I shave my head and get the word fear tattooed onto my forehead? But then I had to have the embarrassing chat explaining how it actually happened and why I was wasting everyone's time. And I had to wear this annoying cast on my hand for about six weeks. So. Don't climb on your friends. The second advice, which I didn't actually need because I didn't do it, but I know a lot of my friends did, was don't go home in the first week. So I know you didn't do this, so well done, but in the first week of university, I got so homesick. I was so upset. I just missed my family. I missed home. I didn't know anyone. I was really socially anxious, but I pushed through it, and I'm so proud of myself for doing that, because I could have just been like, no, forget it, I'm going home. But I think it's important to push through that feeling and just give it a few weeks, maybe a month, and then weigh up how you feel. Because after about three weeks, I felt 4,000% better than when I did in the first week, when I was so miserable. So, stick at it. Although I know you did stick at it, so... Well done. Next one is do not pretend 
to be someone else. There's nothing wrong with reinventing yourself or thinking, you know what, I'm gonna act a bit differently or try and be a bit more confident, and that's fine. But for the first week of university, I was pretending to be someone completely different to like an embarrassing level. So the first one was clubbing. I pretended that I loved clubbing. I was like, yeah, back home, I was clubbing every night. Me and my friends were wild. Actually, I'd never really been clubbing before and I made the whole thing up. I wasn't, and I didn't even know what it was like. I didn't know that I loved it. I was just saying I did to impress people. I was also like, yeah, I want to stay out till five in the morning. I love getting no sleep. And Phil of now would know by about two in the morning. I'm like, yep, I'm done. Introvert time to go back into his shell. But I was just trying to be liked. I just really wanted people to like me, but it was to the detriment of myself. Same thing as well. I was like, yeah, I've had all the sex. I am a sex maniac. And it went to the level where people were like, wow, really? You've had that much sex? I was like, yeah, yeah, I've done all the sex, me. Totally. And that was me just trying to impress the other guys in my house. And it's so stupid because it's a thing that nobody cares about. I don't know why I had it in my head that I had to lie to everyone because it'd be embarrassing not to have had all the sex yet. So yeah, don't lie about that. No one cares. You tell them the truth two weeks later because you get comfortable around them and then you're like, actually, yeah, I was just making it up because I felt insecure. And I'm so glad that I told the truth. Don't pretend to be this cool guy because people will like you for who you are. Okay. Join more clubs. Phil, Phil, Phil. There were so many clubs and societies that you could have joined at university, but you just didn't. There was the film club. There was student radio. There was loads of them. If you'd have just gone to one day, you could have made five new friends, but you spent most of your time with the housemates that you knew, that you felt safe around. If I could tell myself something, it would be to just join a club. If you hate it, you don't have to go again, but give it a go. Okay, keep that in mind. Thank you for keeping that in mind. Oh. Um, another thing is always knock on your housemate's door. I walked in on so many things just from not knocking on a door. Why did I knock on the door? Our house just had a culture of like, yeah, just walk in whenever. But then one of my housemates got a boyfriend. And let's just say when I opened the door, I saw a lot of the boyfriend. I slammed it straight away. I was like, whoa, but it was too late. I said, sorry, I could just never make eye contact with this guy again. So, knock on the door. Always knock on the door. Why didn't you knock on the door? Okay. Duck. There's lots of ducks at my university, but no, I'm talking about, whoa, duck. Because when I worked at the stationery store, let's call it Mobu Smache Hith, uh, someone threw a chocolate orange at my head and I didn't duck and it hit me in the face. So when you see that chocolatey orange coming towards your face, have some more reflexes and you'll thank me for that. Also, you hate that job, so you should definitely quit the month before Christmas rather than the month after because that Christmas month was hell. So quit, have a nice Christmas, and then you can focus on YouTube a bit more and you never know, that might pick up in a few months. Right, I'm gonna go then. Wow, Phil, that was abrupt. Do you not wanna know the lottery numbers? I could tell you so much. I could show you the world. Shining, shimmering, Blue genies. Uh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, okay, fine. If you're gonna go, it's been lovely to see your face and your ridiculous long hair. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I think the temporal fold is breaking. <laughs> so that was a fun little looky into the past. I'm not sure I would actually use that power if it was given to me though, because it's such a dangerous thing. And all of those decisions and things that happened in my life led to who I am today. And I quite like who I am today. And it scares me that if I made one change, I'd be a completely different person now. So I think I'll leave Phil of the past in the past and I'll stick with this guy here. <laughs> for now. So give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and leave a comment below with something that you would tell yourself in the past. Doesn't have to be too deep or sad, just something fun. And <laughs> if unless you're 10, then you'd be talking to a fetus, which could also be interesting. And I'm looking forward to reading those and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.